We've built a very simple app here that happens, it's a historian analysis app, happens to have two pages in it, one which has a single trend chart, one which has uh, multiple trends in it. Um, I'm going to jump right into the app so you can see at the runtime. Um, actually, what I should do here before I do that, I'm going to edit one of these pages. Um, and what you'll see here is this is a drag and drop HTML5 based editor. So I have cards on the display. You know, so this is a card. In that card, there are multiple containers. Here's a, a navigation so I can see where I am. In this case, we've Operations Hub allows you to create context associated with an asset model. And I'll jump there in a moment. Um, so I can, I can have one application, I can have one screen. And as I, as I move through the application, I, I traverse the, the asset model. I go to the pump station in Buffalo. I can see the data on a trend from that pump station. If I have the ability to, I can jump over to the pump station in Quebec. I can see the trend data from that pump without having to do anything just because I've, nav I've gone through a navigation um, system. So anyway, very simple. We have a trend analysis card. We've got a, uh, and in this case, we've got two on the screen. So we have two, two trends. I want to be able to look at two machines from the same plant. I want to be able to look at two machines from different plants. You know, very simple type of analysis to help me do comparative. So that's, if I wanted to create a new widget, um, we have a whole a whole set of different types of widgets. I could have a button, I could have toggles, I could have sliders, inputs, I could have drop downs, um, I could have um, uh, I could have display widgets, visualizations, um, text, you know, tables, whatever it may be, uh, maps. Um, and then a key thing here is there are layouts and tools. So if we look actually up here, where is it? It over. Um, there's the ability to have multiple views for a given app. Um, so if I was in the display, no, maybe it's in the tools. But I can have um, I can have a, a, for a given app, I can have a layout designed for a phone versus a mobile tablet versus a desktop versus you know I, we you could define your uh, your layouts. We have customers using smartwatches with the same technology. The things that you see on a smartwatch in a, in, from one application are different. So based on the display type, you can choose, oh, I only want to show one of these widgets, one of these cards, if a user is on that type of device versus if they're on a computer monitor, I want them to see these 10 different cards. That's called responsive design, and we, uh, we allow you to do that. 